Besides transubstantiation, another distinguishing feature of Catholicism is the Pope and Papal authority. I will not go into the political dynamics for the formation of this office. Instead, I will explain the theological reason. In the Gospels, Jesus asked his disciples who they say he is. The disciples give various answers until Peter states that he is the Christ, where Jesus says, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The name Peter comes from Petra, or rock, and Peter would be considered the first among the apostles. From Peter, there will be successive apostles, something called apostolic succession going back to Peter. Pope basically means father, and the pope is a bishop, but owing to various pol political dynamics, the bishop of Rome became elevated to the highest status in Catholicism. In this slide is pictured Pope John Paul II, one of the mo most popular popes in recent history. When he died, the church holds a conclave to determine the next pope. Pope Benedict was selected.